Hey everybody, I hope you had a blessed week. This is a piece of oak. Um, it's been in the yard for probably about, I don't know, a year or so. Full of bug holes and it's spalting. Um, I picked it because I knew it would be perfect for uh, putting some blue resin in the way I had imagined doing. So I picked the most holiest looking one I had. It was quite punky in some areas too, which I just kept cutting past it until I got to a point where sanding um, would be feasible with a little bit of CA glue. Um, so I'm just shaping the bottom of the bowl, um, checking it every once in a while, making sure I'm getting past the real punky pieces. You can literally just take your hand and the grain or the wood just gravels out like it just <laughs> wipes right off the wood. Um, so that's another reason why it's cutting so nicely, but you can also tell when it's real punky because you'll get ribbons and then just, you know, uh, bits and pieces like, you know, chunks of uh, shavings versus nice ribbons. Um, so I kind of use that as a way to see, you know, if I'm past a lot of the punky by paying attention to the shavings without having to stop the lathe constantly. Um, but it's still a good idea, obviously, to stop and check it, making sure that there's no cracks that are inside that you don't know about. You don't want it flying off the lathe, things like that. So adding some Starbun uh, Thin CA to all of the real punky um, areas, but are salvageable, you know, sandable, wasn't too bad. And then I'm going to put a mortise at the bottom. I also put thin CA in the mortise because it was real punky and, you know, spalted wood will tend to split right where it's spalted. So just to be on the safe side, stiffen up that mortise. Um, I'm drilling out the bug holes. And like I said before, if you watch my videos on it, um, if you spray denatured alcohol on them, it will help um, identify them because some of them are just really the same color as the wood and it's hard to see them and when you try to put finish on it it looks dull and icky so getting it out as much as you can um, sometimes when you sand you just reveal more bug holes and that's frustrating too but um, if you get them out as much as you can and you can kind of tell the more you do this where there are some underneath the grain it just looks different um, the link for this Dremel is in the description below. Um, they, I think, are still on sale for $20 right now. So go and check it out. Um, it's a really good tool to have. Um, and I, I've, just, I've just utilized it so much, my husband and I both. So I'm using the um, Black Diamond powder. Uh, the Cobalt Blue is the color I'm using for the bug holes. And I'm just mixing that with 5-Minute um, Epoxy from Harbor Freight. Because I'm impatient and I don't want to fill one hole at a time. <laughs> because the more of this you use, the longer it takes to dry, obviously, when it's stuffed down in those holes. So um, I just lather a bunch on and just keep wiping and wiping, wiping it in the holes until it starts getting that tacky, sticky texture. Um, and then I'll add more to wherever I missed. Um, and sometimes it happens quickly, like that piece there. <laughs> sometimes you do a reach in your cup and it's already goobered. And you're like, darn, but that's okay. I'm um, a little too impatient to do one little hole at a time. I normally wait 20 to 30 minutes in between, you know, turning, especially when I have this much on a bowl, um, because even if the top feels like it might be good and hard, usually when you get inside, it kind of rolls out as you scrape it off. So um, being patient with how long it takes is, is best because then you're not having to put more in there after you rake it out of the holes.
So right now I'm just focusing on sanding the bottom and getting it finished, um, turning it around and then um, finishing the outside of the bowl. Um, the link for the branding iron and where I got it is in the description below as well. Um, the branding iron and the handle, the electric handle, are sold separately just so you know. Where the pith is in this bowl, there were some um, cracks that I didn't fill with resin, but I took it as an opportunity, being this is spalted, to fill it with the black uh, Starbond CA glue. It always works uh, really well. Now here I'm just flattening out the face of it because I want to um, add some dye to the rim. Um, I hadn't really done that before on a project I've dyed a whole piece, but not just the rim. So um, I'm flattening it out and sanding it. Uh, I think I sanded it to 320 or 240. I can't remember. I didn't want to sand it too smooth because I didn't want the dye not to soak in to the grain. So I'm going to put the link to um, in the description for these colors that I use, these wood dye colors. I got them at Michael's. You can also get them on Amazon if you don't have a Michael's anywhere near you. Um, they come in a lot of colors, and I bought one of every color. They were about $5 a jug. They're little small jugs. That wasn't quite blue enough, and when you add blue to yellow, it turns a green color. So I used some um, resin ink or dye that came with one of my resin kits and use that over top of it and it seemed to help deepen it up and give it a better color. And you'll notice in the end when right before I put a finish on I add another um, a layer of it just to give it some more depth. I really loved um, how that turned out. Again, I'm drilling out the bug holes inside the bowl. I'm going to fill that with the same um, epoxy, five minute epoxy, and the same color.
somewhere along the video air I recorded <laughs> I recorded scraping the resin down flush but unfortunately uh, it's somewhere out there that video <laughs> I apologize for that I sanded um, 80 grit to 400 grit and then wiped it down to clean it up with denatured alcohol Now I'm using sanding sealer, which is 50-50 shellac and denatured alcohol, rubbing the whole piece down, um, being very light and mindful of the dye around the rim because I didn't want to cause it to pull it off. The video of me finishing the bowl miraculously went missing as well, so I just sprayed some lacquer um, after this, used Axe Abrasive Paste to knock that back, and then used an OB Shine Juice over top. So this is the short little video of what it looked like after I put the finish on it. I thank you so much for watching. I thank you all my subscribers. You're amazing. And I pray you all have a wonderful weekend. God bless and take care.